The future of cruise ships in Charleston is still up in the air tonight after a South Carolina State Supreme Court hearing this morning. The state handed a permit down to the Ports Authority allowing them to build a bigger terminal, but neighbors arguing they should have had a say in that decision. News 2 Sophia Arizosa hears from both sides of the case and breaks down the details. There wasn't a decision made today, and we knew that would be the case. Instead, state Supreme Court justices heard arguments from both sides to see if there was standing for the case, not to decide who's in the right. As you mentioned, this stems from the state's permits given to the South Carolina Port Authority to build a new 100,000 square foot terminal on Union Pier. Several groups are challenging the South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control and the state's Ports Authority, saying they should have been part of the decision making before those permits were handed down because they are directly impacted. The Historic Charleston Foundation, the Preservation Society, and the Historic Ansboro Neighborhood Association are among the petitioners. We spoke with Caroline Bradner with the Coastal Conservation League, who says the outcome of this case goes beyond cruise ships. You know, what it really is about is citizens' rights to challenge government decisions that are going to impact them, uh, whether that was about cruise or, or any other industry or any other um, permit, it's important that those who are going to be most impacted and those who are going to live, you know, right next to something that they get to be part of that government decision. They get to challenge that government decision. I reached out to the South Carolina Ports Authority for comment. They say cruise operations are relatively small, but quote, an important part of maritime commerce. It could take months before the Supreme Court makes a decision. Reporting in studio, Sophia Zosa. Count on two.